morning, Smith Station. I'm Jesse Messer, and this is your first p and episode of 2022. First up, we have Jaden Parham in our brand new sports studio interviewing Coach Glisson of their football season. Hi, Jaden Parham. I'm here today with Coach Glisson. So, Coach Glisson, uh, what new information do you have for uh, players or people who want to new people who want to come out for the team this year? Well, it's that time of year when we we open an invitation for anybody who didn't play last year who would like to come out and and play football next year. Uh, I've already had a few kids who have, have got in touch with me about wanting to join the team for next year. And, and uh, what we're going to do is we'll start in February, and those guys who don't have weight training that want to join the team, uh, we'll start three days a week. They come in in the mornings before school, and they can lift weights and uh, kind of earn their way onto the team. And then the spring, when we start doing some things as far as out on the field and all, they can join us. Right. So uh, any new information, like uh, any new opponents that we haven't played in previous years that you like to mention? Well, yeah, one thing I'd like to say for those guys that want to come out, it'd be good if they went ahead and got a physical, uh, you know, go to their doctor, come see me, get a form, come down to the field house and see me, and I'll get their name and their phone number, and I'll give them a form so they can get a physical. Um, yeah, we do. We had two new teams enter our region. Uh, we now have a nine-team region, so we have eight region games. We have our usual that's been in there forever, and then we've added Opelika and Lee out of Montgomery. Okay, okay. And then our two non-region games are LaGrange High and uh, Benjamin Russell. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, Coach Listen, uh, final question for you. How do you feel about uh, this new season? Well, we got a lot of people back on offense. Uh, we've lost we lost a couple, you know, two or three really important players. We got to replace, but we got a lot back on offense. So I I like where we are there. We lost a bunch of players on defense, and so we got to have some people step up and, and fill in those holes. But uh, one thing about our Smith Station kids, they're always going to play hard and they're going to get get after the other team and fight hard to the end of the game. And uh, uh, as long as we do that, win or lose, we can live with it. But uh, just excited about an upcoming new season. Always excited about a new season and, and would like for as many kids who would like to come out and try football, whether they've ever played or not, come on out and, and, and you may find something you like. Right. Right. Thank you, Coach Wilson. Thank you. Yes, sir. Next up, we have Colin Scargans covering the Teacher of the Year. Miss Smith, who currently teaches chemistry, physics, and honors physical science, won the annual Smith Station High School's Teacher of the Year Award. Miss Smith has been teaching at Smith Station High for nine years, but teaching high school for 10 years. Ms. Smith loved science back when she was in high school and wanted to share the experience and passion by teaching her students. Ms. Smith loves reading, scrapbooking, crafting, photography, and traveling while being a major fan of Disney. Uh, so I have been asked to just speak on behalf of the people that nominated me for Teacher of the Year. And so I would like to say that it's such an honor and there were so many wonderful candidates that were nominated. and. I truly consider it a blessing and an honor that you guys, as peers and colleagues, you know, thought enough of me um, and admi administrators to select me this year, and it's truly an honor that I will cherish. With the start of the new year, Ellie Dickerson asked around people for their New Year's resolutions. Here's what they had to say. My New Year's resolution is to make all A's, and the way I can fulfill my goal is to make sure I come to school instead of sleeping in. Uh, my new year's resolution is to eat better and I mean I eat a lot of fast food like chick fil and stuff like that so I'm just going to try and cut down on that and stay disciplined. My new year resolution is to grow to six foot time because all you got to do is sleep because when you sleep you get time. My new year's resolution would be keep above average grades as in A's because last year I had A's and B's and I'm trying to do a little bit better and get myself all A's and the way that I would withhold that would be to take more time out of the things that I normally do like go to sleep or go home or just eat and then sleep. I take 30 minutes or an hour out of my regular routine to study on the things that I've been struggling with and that's how I would withhold all A's. I know the past two years haven't been ideal, but here are a few amazing moments from 2021 in this school and around the world. 